Jelly Farmer's here. Jelly Farmer's here. My plants are here. My plants are here. All hands on deck. Mom, stop it. You're gonna be okay. Uh -huh. Waiting for this up. The big shipment is here. This is all stuff for my hanging baskets and some other stuff as well. Some perennials, um, some bigger plants. Oh, I think there might be some Monstera in here. Oh my gosh, okay. I am going to unbox all of these plants. They're, the guys are actively working here. They're in the room where I need to unbox. They're using tools and saws and hammers. So I don't know how this is gonna go. I might unbox everything and then talk about it after the fact. So uh, we'll just play it by ear. This order is all from Jolly Farmer and Jolly Farmer truck delivered it. Like the truck, it literally said Jolly Farmer. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and start with box number one. Let's go brain in the other room. <laughs> I'm gonna have to bleep you out. It's funny. Oh my goodness. Oh wow. Oh my okay. goodness. Store. Ah! There's petunias! Obviously, I need to pinch the petunias off, but look at those. Packed with care. By Sh Get over here. Sorry, my camera. Packed with care by Shane. Thank you, Shane from Jolly Farmer. <laughs> it's, it's like there's grasses everywhere. There's buds on this yarrow. Oh my gosh. Oh, I wanna I wanna sleep on it. No, you can't cut it. Who wants to cut my grass? No. Look at that. Oh, Jermaine packed this one. Thank you, Jermaine. I love grasses. Got a little bit of a thing for grass. Oh, it's so cute. Is it donkey skin? Apparently I ordered more grass. I have no memory of this. Oh, that's the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. Okay, this is weird. I was told I wasn't gonna have these in my order and they were canceled. Showing off those Callies. They're hot. This is Dichondra Silver Falls. It will vine and go all the way, like seven feet to the ground, Rapunzel. Rapunzel, let down your hair. Wow. Wow. Look at this little baby. I gotta show Michael. Look at that dude. He's a baby fern. Calabracoa, 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 Calabracoa. Geraniums. A lot of what I ordered are combination hanging basket kits. So right now, Aunt Jan and I are gonna go over and make sure that we have all the ingredients for each of the kits and then set them aside so that all of the ingredients for each basket are together. So when it's time to go ahead and do the hanging baskets, all of everything that we need is right there. Also, the tags are here too. So we're gonna get the tags and put them all together so that everything is together when we go to fill the baskets. Jan and I did inventory. Everything that was on my order is here. We've separated all of the hanging baskets. Brad's actually running to the store right now, coming back with a lot of lumber that we have to unload to finish building the other tables in this room. So I'm gonna just hang out here until he gets back, help him unload, and then I'm gonna come back tomorrow and go over all of these plants with you guys. I just gave everything a quick drink. I called my grower friend yesterday and said, do you start fertilizing them right away? And he said, only if something looks like it needs, it's hungry. You can usually tell when a plant needs some um, nutrients. 
Uh, I didn't see anything that looked hungry. Everything looked really good. So I just gave them all clean water and I'm gonna use clean water for a couple of times and then I'm gonna start to incorporate the fertilizer. Holy guacamole! Watch the floor, watch the door, watch the floor, watch the door. Look at the size of those. Right in front of the heater, they'll dry out real nice. Mom can stain them. Hello, babies. Good morning, it's the next day, and all of the plants actually look much happier today. I watered them very quickly with just clear water last night, um, and because they were in boxes and stuff, a lot of them had, uh, their leaves were a little squished, and some of them were bent over a little bit, but everything, now that it's been out of the box, everything is looking perkier and beautiful, and I'm very excited to share with you guys all the varieties. My heater has not stopped. Um, it's, it's reading 72 degrees up here, but down here on the tables, it's only reading 59.5 degrees. I have two different thermostats down here. Um, so that's a little bit of a concern. The uh, literally 10 degrees cooler from here to here. That's not okay. I haven't started potting anything up. My sister's coming over today. We're gonna start the hanging baskets. I'm probably gonna do some four inch pots before she gets here, just so I can get something going. Those strawberries, I'm so excited. All right, so let me go, let me show you everything that I've got on order. Okay, so I'll start right here and I'll just go down the line with every variety that I have on order. And guys, this is just the first shipment. There's another shipment coming in a few weeks and that is for four inch pots and stuff like that. Things that take less time to grow. This, however, does take a long time to grow and the majority of this is hanging basket material. I feel like I'm a little bit dark. There, hi. <laughs> okay, I put it on um, auto so in case the sun comes out, I don't have to fix the video. Yes, I'm wearing the same hoodie. I wear things a couple days before I wash them. Over here we have Granvia Gold and Granvia Pink. Now these are straw flowers, but they're a different type. They grow a little bit differently than the traditional tall straw flowers that I grow for cuts. Over here I have all of the Calabracoas that I'm growing um, that are not included in the combo kits. I just love Calabracoa so much. They're a mini petunia. They are what I have been attracted to for the past at least five years. Every time I go to the nurseries, that's what I'm bringing home. So I wanted to get some simply one color big Keller Brokoa baskets. So I have, I have one called Illusion, a hot pink. I have Cappuccino. This one I'm obsessed with. I saw it, I added it to my order very late. It just has a really gorgeous white with a red and yellow, almost like a brown color. It's really beautiful. And so is this next one. This next one is called, somebody just dropped their plow. I guess that's my plow guy. This is called Sunset. Let me go see if he's coming in. Yep, that was my plow guy, Matt. He was just plowing, so I just moved my car. Okay, so I was on the Sunset Calabracoa. Absolutely gorgeous, I'm excited. I feel like I bought this one a couple of years ago or something similar and that is what I had on my porch in a hanging basket from the Haywoods. They are the couple who just retired where I bought the pot filler and they actually stopped by the other day. It was a nice visit. Okay, what else is next? We have blueberry scone. Guys, I couldn't help that one. And then this one, also this one's called raspberry. You guys can see I have these stickies. You see the yellow? So it's pretty common for plants when they come in from large scale production to maybe have fungus gnats or something else. So I put these in as a precaution. I came in this morning. I did see a couple of fungus gnats yesterday, but nothing overwhelming. And this morning on all of these stickies, I only have one fungus gnat stuck to it. Um, so that's pretty good. So far, everything is looking really great. I don't see uh, much at all. Next we have Iconic Purple. Beautiful, I love the Iconic series. You know what, this one's not, sorry, I said this one was raspberry, this one's dark red. The raspberry's right here. Um, and then we have Calitastic White, so a plain white one. And then over here, I'm really excited about this one. It wasn't something that was originally on my order. I had ordered something called Lime Royale, which was a Jolly Farmer exclusive. I was so excited about it, but my order ended up getting canceled, and so my broker, Asha, asked me if I'd like a replacement, and so I chose this one. It's a petunia, and it's called pistachio cream, and I love it. I love it. It has the green rim with the white center. It's absolutely gorgeous, darling. I have Crazy Blue Perovskia. We have Serena Rose Angelonia. Silver Falls Dichondra. 
Yeah, this Silver Falls Dichondra is uh, one of my favorite things. I grew it, I had a hanging basket of it a couple of years ago and it grew to be over seven feet tall. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair. The next things I'm about to show you, which you guys saw me unboxing, are perhaps the cutest things I have ever seen in my life. They are baby ferns. Baby ferns. It's called cotton candy. Let me just pull one of these babies out. Oh my goodness. Can we even? I love you. Oh, baby ferns. This is the baby Boston fern, and the Boston and the Nevada fern are uh, super, oh, sorry. <laughs> They're super similar in their look. Look at that. Hopefully these will grow. Have never grown ferns before, other than outside in my woods. And then also, I heard through the grapevine that ferns are pretty difficult to grow. So I don't know if this will be a giant failure. It, you know, these things might die. I might not be able to grow these successfully. I might not be able to grow other things successfully. This is all an experiment. I'm expecting to learn astronomical amounts of information this year about what works and what doesn't work and what I should do and what I shouldn't do. Lots of things that I'm expecting to learn this year. So if I lose some things along the way, that's going to be okay. That's fine. Now I'm gonna start moving the camera and getting some closer looks at the plants while I talk about the varieties. These three trays right here, this is fuchsia. This first one right here is blue angel. Look how magnificent this one is. And then we have swing time. Oh, I love this one. And then perhaps the softest, most romantic fuchsia I've ever seen in my life. We have Annabelle. Oh, I love this one. I cannot wait. Canna. We have a scarlet, a yellow, a rose, and who is this guy? I'm guessing orange. Yes, orange. These four, these are gonna be potted into, I think four or five and a half inch pots. I have to look at my list of um, my note taking, but these are beautiful and very popular in pots. Swing over to the right, whoop, go down a little bit. Guys, these are geraniums and they are absolutely gorgeous. Look at the quality of these geraniums. I have seen some nasty geraniums in my time. Um, these ones though are all red, large, dark, red. I got these ones to do geranium hanging baskets and I did that because I was told that the red is basically the really really popular hanging basket and they're the only ones I'm going to be doing in a hanging basket. I bought other colors but they're arriving in a couple of weeks and I'll be putting those in four inch pots. I have Lismachia sunburst. Look how beautiful this. My aunt put it up here because she was afraid that the the vining pieces were going to get caught in uh, the table. These babies right here Monstera, which is a house plant in our area. This is the plant that grows up to have those beautiful um, big holes in the leaves, like Swiss cheese, gorgeous. This is Artemisia silver brocade. This is gonna be a, one of those beautiful filler plants. Give you guys a little bit of a closer look at this Artemisia. I have grown Artemisia for cutting too, but this is uh, not a cutting variety. The stuff in the front is for hanging baskets. This right here, is a Feather Falls U oh, Elegant Feathers Eupatorium. Got a couple of those. Right here we have three varieties of perennial flocks because, you know, I forgot that I ordered bare roots so I bought cuttings. We have Laura Bright Eyes and we have Flame Coral. I'm excited about that one. Um, more yarrow. C can we really get enough yarrow? I don't think so. Desert Eve Terracotta and then the other one is Summer Berries. Thing to the right we have Echinacea. And we have uh, Cheyenne Spirit. And then we have another tray, hold on me. Ah, so we have Sunseekers Rainbow and Cheyenne Spirit Echinacea. This is perhaps one of my favorite sections of the table. These are the grasses. Oh, I love them. These are so gorgeous. We have Cherry Sparkler, we have Fireworks, we have Skyrocket, Ponytails, uh, Brachytrichia, Brachytrichia. Twisted Arrows Junkus. We have Red Rubrum Grass. Over here we have Feather Falls. This is epic. Can you see this? I'm obsessed with this. I love the variegation. I have to pot these up into some beautiful little potty pots. Oh, I love them so much. And then this last grass we have here is New Hybrids Miscanthus. 
Brace yourself for the burrito. I needed these sedum burritos. They grow up to be uh, almost like a hanging deliciousness. They're also known as burro's tails. My, my aunt said she used to call it donkey tails. And we looked it up. It definitely goes by a couple of names, but that is a tray of that because I love it. This one right here. Lofos compact white lofospermum. Lofospermum, lofospermum. This is a gorgeous trailing plant and I got a compact white and a compact rose. Let's see, I think those are hanging baskets. I'll, I might go over those in another video or I'll do it in this one, but it's gonna be a long video. <laughs> Let's make our way over to here. These two right here are not hanging basket material. <gasps> Look at that. Arr! That is amazing. That is Transden, Tradenscantia. Tradescantia, tradi, tradi, tradi. Guys, I need to Google how to say this. Tradescantia or Tradescantia. Oh, okay, thank you. Okay, Tradescantia, pistachio white. It's tradi perfect. Okay, I heard you the first time. And then this next one is Blaze. What's the, what's the, yeah, that's just it. Andropogon, Andropogon, Scopari, Blaze. That's a Blaze. Oh, and that's another grass. That, that still looks a little sad. That grass is called Blaze. It still looks a wee bit sad, but I'm sure it'll perk up. Okay, other things right here, we have some sun patients. These are right here. And then right there we have German Ivy, strawberries, Vinca vine. Uh, what's that in the back? Hmm, Cleome, I think. Yeah, some Cleome. Um, and then we have lupins. We have, and that's more hanging basket stuff, but this, this right here, those trays, one, two, three, four, five, six, those are herbs. These are all of this stuff from seed and I will start more, but these are specifically for the blue herb baskets that I bought. So those will have their own combinations. It's called the Country Kitchen Herb Kit. And um, that's what I got for that. Over here we have the baby lupins. These, what these look like, we know that. What else do we, oh, and then these are hanging baskets over here as well. Oh, hello, oh, excuse me. Okay, thank you. Oh, okay, now brace yourselves, folks, because we have hanging baskets. I really was not expecting to see flowers already, um, and that's the, the reaction that you're seeing me when I open these boxes is it's legitimate. I was screaming. I know, it's the cutest thing. I just posted a picture of one of the baby Boston ferns on Instagram and Facebook, and everyone's commenting about how it's the cutest little thing, because it is the cutest little thing. All right, let me get my my Jolly Farmer book so I can go over all of these varieties with you guys. This video is gonna take a million years to edit because there's so many pictures to add, uh, but that's okay because doing something like this is worth it because I think just going the extra step to put the pictures of the finished product for you guys will give you guys an idea of everything that I'm doing here. But also, it's a little terrifying because what if I can't grow it to, to that, um, to its potential? What if my hanging baskets are sad and pathetic looking and leggy and um, yellow and not beautiful? <sighs> There's so much fear in, in the unknown, which we all know that, but this is all I have to try. I, there's a flower on that begonia. Oh my God. <laughs> so this is what I, this is one of the hanging baskets and I'll go over it in a second. Oh my God, it's gorgeous. Oh, sorry, I have a lot of pent up emotion. This is a begonia that I've been seeing and then I just saw this. It is the cutest little thing oh my goodness when you see something like that can you even stand it i guess we're starting with this hanging basket oh my gosh oh it's so beautiful okay this is a a Sol selenia apricot begonia and it's in included in that hanging basket. I have to go get my book because I can't remember the names of all these. We have this one that I showed you with the begonia. It's called Remember When. Remember When has three ingredients. It is the begonia apricot that I just showed you, Euphorbia starblast snowdrift, and then the hookera carnival plum crazy. The hookera is actually gorgeous and I kind of wish it wasn't in a basket. This is a look at the hookera right now and just to give you an idea of the plug size, I don't want to hurt anybody here. Um, but come on. Oh yeah, they need to be potted up. Their roots are like, help, help me. <sighs> so there is one of the hookeras and uh, yeah, they wanna be, they're ready. They're ready for a new pot. So what they do when these combo kits come 
they show you how everything should be arranged and this is their book right here so there's the photo and right here they'll say a a b b c so c is the hookra so there's only one hookra in every one of these pots but there are two begonias and two of the snowdrifts in each pot and they give you a little diagram show you exactly how to plant it most companies do this i think it's going to be fun exhausting time consuming um but all of these things are are good these six well no there's five these five trays right here represent wildflower meadows we have calabrocoa iconic sunset we have petunia miss sweet tunia miss marvelous and then we have vanessa violet verbena which is this beauty right here um, this basket I was drawn to and I have to tell you I had a lot more combination kits on my list but um, I realized that my space couldn't hold um, as many baskets as I wanted it, it to so I went from about a thousand baskets coming to 400 combo kits coming so I had to dial it back and after this year I'll have a better idea of how much space and how many baskets I can actually hold so this one is the wildflower meadows these are the the lupins so ignore these but this next set of baskets right here is oh the berry smoothie combo kit i'm actually making 50 of these baskets it they take each tray takes two banana berries one oh oh i should tell you what's in it this is a petunia and an nemesia tray the nemesia is right here these two trays of nemesia it's called nemesia or it's called banana berry and then we have a burgundy petunia and a pink lace petunia and these combined make the berry smoothie basket i have enough to do 50 baskets of this these three beauties right here make up the golden blush combo kit we have a calatastic butter calabrocoa we have a petunia in here called crazy tunia rose gold and then for the verbena we have estrella merlot and together they will be the golden blush which i gotta be honest with you that's my favorite right here we have one called enchanted evening calabrocoa noah ultra purple namesia inca and then a petunia is called Cascadia's Autumn Mystery. This is enough to make 25 baskets. I think the most of them I got 25 baskets worth. The berry smoothie made 50 just by one order. I didn't double it up or anything. Um, and the wildflower meadows also made 50. These next three, I have to look it up. Let's see, we have Ray Classic Blue. Where's the Ray Classic Blue go? Blue Eyes Crying is the name of this basket. This makes 25. We have a petunia Ray Classic Blue a Vanessa Verbena, it's an indigo color. And then we have a Bacopa on this one, and this one is a double indigo Bacopa. I'm actually really excited. To me, these little Bacopas, it almost looks like baby basil, <laughs> um, but obviously it's not. Blue Eyes Crying, I love this one. Come on down the line. This one is called After the Rain. Wow, I love this. Makes 25 baskets. It comes with another Bacopa. This one is a Scopia Gulliver White. And then the Calabrocoa in here is a Noah Yellow. And then this is the only one that I'm doing with Lobelia. And this is called Annabelle Brilliant Blue Lobelia. The rest of the Lobelia that I have is grown from seed. Right here, oh, I love this one. I think it's called Fruit Salad. Let me find it. Nope, it looks similar to the one called Fruit Salad. It's called Bolero and it's bright. This reminded me of my mom. I feel like my mom would be attracted to this basket. It has a Biden's Yellow Crown. It has the Calabrocoa Noah Ultra Purple, and then it has an Estrella Red Verbena. I love this combo. So bright, so bold, so Renee, so queen mother. And I'm gonna pause just for a second, just to talk about these. Can we please talk about these? Because look at these little babies. It's called Vintage Soiree, and it includes the Great Falls Niagara coleus a calabrocoa called calatastic butter that's this right here you can see the yellow buds actually starting on it and then the verbena is called an empress sun red this makes 25 baskets these two trays right here make up fire and ice and this is a red and white basket this is called calabrocoa calatastic bright red and then we have the verbena called vanessa white moving on down the line these next three one two three i don't know what they are so this is the strawberry fields basket calabrocoa bright red calabrocoa calatastic white and then the verbena is 
the hurricane red. And then down one more, whoop, these two, this is actually a splash. This is a grape splash, Calabrocoa. And then this one is a purple polka petunia. And this makes up an amazing one called Sky Full of Stars. And I think it's absolutely stunning. And it's kind of the only one I got that is a little bit of splashy. Um, so we'll see how that sells. This basket is a little bit different than the other baskets that I'm doing. It's more of a greenery basket. This one is called Unlikely Lime. All of the different shades of green. We have a Celosia, it's called Fire Lime. We have the Limelight Helichrysum. Helichrysum Limelight. We have the Angelonia Big Blue. And then we have a Calabrocoa called Skywalker. And I can tell already from this Calabrocoa, let me get a little zoom in on it. It's, it's already really tall, which is, I'm guessing, is how it gets the name Skywalker uh, because some of these are six inches tall already whereas the other Calabrocoa is like that. So, oops. So based off of this, like this is the other Calabrocoas and this is this Calabrocoa. It's just, it's called Skywalker for obvious reasons. This little ditty on the end has a Crazy Tunia Cosmic purple and it also has Silver Falls Dichondra and I absolutely love Silver Falls Dichondra. I said this before. This one is called Sweet Velour. Oh, you know what? That tray of Angelonia comes in here too. I got to go grab that. Let me go grab that. Serena Rose. Oh, it's right here. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Serena Rose Angelonia. Oh, let's see. This one, this one lost its head. That's okay. Sometimes this happens in shipment. Um, and you can actually see that it's already starting to put out shoots. So that's probably a good thing. And that's it. That's it for the unboxing today. Um, wait, oh, I told you there's strawberries right there in the Vinca vines and oh yeah, I told you about all those. I'm gonna show you the Vinca vines again though because I don't think you guys got a close up on that. There are the strawberries. I think there's 144 of them. Um, they look great. I was gonna do hanging baskets with strawberries and some forest pots. And these are the Vinca vines. Their heads have all been chopped. You can see they've all been trimmed, um, but they will also all get their own little pots. And that's what I'm gonna be doing over the next several days, probably a couple weeks. <laughs> I need to get going. Um, that's the, like with doing YouTube and making videos, everything takes a little bit longer to do. Um, for instance, I've been recording this video for almost an hour this morning. Um, I could have been filling pots and stuff like that, but this is like part of the process for me. But yes, indeed, everything takes a little bit longer when I'm documenting it. This is really exciting, terrifying. Um, what do I do with all of this stuff? Well, there's a culture guide in the back of the catalog that tells you exactly what to do with every plant. And when I don't know something, I'll reach out to my rep and say, hey, what size pot do you recommend for this uh, vinca vine or this sun patient? Um, these are all things that I have to ask questions about because I don't know. I don't know, other than me as a personal shopper at a nursery, I'm gonna be documenting as much of this as possible. Like right now, I'm gonna go fill pots. I already have some filled, but we've been potting up the perennials. So we've been filling pots, but we've been planting pots, like filling them with soil and then filling them with a bare root. Um, so number two is full. Anyway, I'm gonna go start filling at least four inch pots and get some of these plants just potted up. I just have to start it because if I don't start it, I'll never get it done. <laughs> Gosh, I want one of every basket, one of each. Oh yeah, thanks guys for sticking around. We'll see you soon. Are you babying the babies? I am babying the babies. <laughs> I don't want the vines to break. Yeah. That you're gonna have so to, pretty. You're gonna have to maybe set something underneath it. She is concerned that the vines are gonna get caught in the tables. So she has given it a platform. How much wood would wet? Chuck, 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 chuck. How much wood would wet? No. How much wood would a Brad Pitt chuck if a Brad Pitt? I can't say it. How much wood could a Brad Pitt chuck if a Brad Pitt? How much wood would a Brad Pitt chuck if a Brad Pitt could chuck wood? Yes.